Barakat Yehoah, Barakat Yehoah Shai, Kol Halo Yomla Yehoah, Bahasham Yehoah Shai, Barakat HaKodash, which means all praises to Yehoah is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yehoah Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world only called Jesus Christ. Barakat HaKodash means in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, the only way to worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers, preaching the gospel and truth and in sincerity, always in charity. This is the brother Mathathia from the Great Millstone Camp to Branch on Des Moines. And um not sure what I'm entitled this lesson just yet, but you know, uh this is a little um YouTube channel that I follow. It's called uh Motiversity. And uh, this is a post, and it says, No matter what happens in your life, you can start over. And through Yahweh Shah, man, as it is written, it says, though our outward man perish, right? That's likened unto us being these trees being being cut down. It says, what? But the inward man is renewed day by day. There's life in us that's blossoming, that's blossom, that's blossoming more and more each day as Yahweh Shah approaches, man. You know, so with that, let's get right into the scriptures. Now, this is the book of Job, chapter 14 and verse 7. It says, for there is hope of a tree if it be cut down that it will sprout again and that the tender branch thereof will not cease. You see, and us being cut down, I'm liking it unto what it says. Let's grab this. This is Proverbs 24 and 16. For a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. Right? So it's going to be a... Uh, um, proverbial bumps in the road man you know it's gonna be proverbial things that uh, uh, uh causes us to fall right but the hope within yahweh basham yahweh shah that fear right motivates us in order in, to get back up and keep moving man keep pushing man right we see we see the things happening that we've been hoping for and praying for man so now is not the time to stay down no get back up man keep pushing right Let's go back. <clears throat> Verse eight, though the root thereof wax old in the earth and the stock thereof die in the ground, yet through the scent of water. Right. It says through the scent of water. And what's the water, man? You know, the water is these scriptures. It's the hope that we have of these words coming to pass. This is Deuteronomy 32 and two. My doctrine shall drop as the rain. My speech shall distill as the dew, as the small rain upon the tender herb and as the showers upon the grass. Right. So this knowledge is likened unto water. What did the Lord say? He said. Let's get this. This is Isaiah. 44 and one says, yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant in Israel, whom I have chosen. Thus saith Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou Jeshurun, whom I have chosen. And this is talking to us, man. You see, in the water sense, yeah, it's talking about all Israel. But look, all Israel cannot understand this word, man. Romans 11 and 7. The election have obtained it and the rest has been blinded, man. Malachi, the third chapter, says that this book of remembrance was written unto them that feared the Lord. This is talking about us, man. Verse three, for I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thy offspring. And they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the water courses. You see? And that's us returning to our heritage, man. That's us returning back unto Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Right? Us returning back to the promise that was given into our forefathers, man. Us coming back into hope. You see? Verse 5. One shall say, I am Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai's, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. And another shall subscribe with his hand unto Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, and surname himself by the name of Israel. And a surname is a last name, man. You see, when we when we uh, uh, conduct the Passover, we go up, we bless the Torah, lay our hands on it. Say, Matathia ban Yahawada ban Yasha'ala. You see, us coming back into who we are, man. This should charge us and motivate us day by day. We back, man. 
You know what these devils and the rest of these heathen tried to erase us off this earth, man? Tried to uh, try the, 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 this with, with, with the with this jab. They trying to take away uh, uh, the essence of the Lord out of us, man. But you got brothers falling and staying down. You got brothers getting weak. No, bruh. We back, man. Laura's returned us back. You see? But let's go back. Uh, back in Job 14 and 9 again. It says, yet through the scent of water, right? This knowledge. And it says the scent of it. Let's get that word scent. It's Hebrew word, uh, rayach. It says scent, fragrance, aroma, or odor. <laughs> and it reminds me of this, man. It's the second Corinthians two and 15. It says, for we are unto the most high, a sweet savor of Yahweh Shah and them that are saved and in them that perish to the one. We are the savor of death unto death and to the other, the savor of life unto life. And who is sufficient for these things? And that sweet savor goes into that smell, that odor, that fragrance, that scent. You see? As this scent, as this knowledge, as our sacrifice is pleasing in the eyes of Yahweh through our Lord Yahweh Shai, it should be pleasing unto one another, man. Seeing brothers bold, right? Seeing brothers uh, 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 persevering through their afflictions, through their trials and tribulations, man. Let's get that. This is Philippians. Man, this is Philippians 1 and 8. It says, for the most high is my record. <clears throat> How greatly I long after you all in the bowels of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. And this I pray that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge and in all judgment, meaning growing in the faith. You see? Becoming more bold in the spirit, man. Gaining more confidence in these words. Verse 10. That ye may approve things that are excellent. That ye may be sincere and without offense till the day of Yahweh Shah. Being filled with the fruits of righteousness which are by Yahweh Shah HaMashiach unto the glory and praise of Yahweh. But I would ye should understand, brethren, that the things which happened unto me have fallen out rather unto the furtherance of the gospel. So whatever trials and tribulations and situations we find ourselves in is all for the furtherance of the gospel and the praise of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. Where your mind at, man? You see? Is it caught up within this world, within this society, within what you don't have, within what you lack in? Or is it what you're gaining through Yahweh Shai, man? You see? A lot of brothers get weak, fall, and don't want to get back up because you're you're concentrated on the wrong things, man. Stop looking at the glass as being half empty. We this 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 is this look. We back, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I I can't I can't I can't say that enough. We're back. Yasha Allah, he is prince of the power, man. The Lord has 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 Shine his face upon us once again. This was a mystery that was hid and he revealed it unto only a few. And we got this, man. It says verse 13, should be an honor to suffer whatever we have to suffer for the names of Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, man. Verse 13, so that my bonds in Yahweh Shah are manifest in all the palace and in all other places. And many of the brethren in the Lord, waxing confident by my bonds, are much more bold to speak the word without fear, man. You see, so regardless of the situation and the circumstance that you're in, man, you still pushing his word. You still persevering through the in the faith, man. That shows the strength of Yahweh Shah within us. Let's get that.
This is um This is a good one. This is 2 Corinthians 12, 12 and 10. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses. For Yahweh's sake, for when I am weak, then I am strong. So that's how we're made stronger, man. You see? Not to get in those moments and become weak. No, because that's the thought process in your mind. You defeated yourself already, man. We can do all things through Yahweh Shai that strengtheneth us, man. This is what we're returned back to. This is who we are. Yahweh Shai is dwelling within us. That's why it says examine ourselves, man. You see? But let's get the one I was looking for. Let's see. Um... Let's see if I can find it this way. Oh, it's the same chapter. Man, man, same chapter. The water y'all bought y'all shot. So it's back in 2 Corinthians 12, and I'm going to just start up. Um, Verse 7, and it says, unless I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the message of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. So some brothers go through different trials, tribulations and infirmities in order to keep us uh, humble. Right. And some brothers go through things because it's self-inflicted. Because you're not doing what's required of you. So the Lord is, 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 is giving you a nudge here and a nudge there to show you like, look, you know, you ain't doing what's right. So this is what's happening. Fix it. And I'll get you out this jail. Right. But it's all within the same uh, 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 thing to make us grow and to make us stronger. Right. Verse eight. For this thing, I besought the Lord thrice that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. And that's the point we want, man. Do you believe that? You see, we have to believe these words that's written, man. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Yahweh Shah may rest upon me. So we're in those moments, man, when we feel like that, right, when we fall and we get back up, it's Yahweh Shah that got us back up, man. And that shows the power and strength of him within us, man. You see? And it's known in all places like we read. And brothers become more bold and more confident in the spirit because of that, man. Let's get this. This is Proverbs 13 and 12. Hope deferred maketh the heart sick, but when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. What your hope is, man? Our hope is being manifest day by day. You see, it says, but when the desire cometh, right? We desire to see what? The fall of our enemies and we see it daily. You see the prophecies popping off how they are. You see these people are, are, are mourning. You see, we see the judgments of the Lord all throughout the earth. It's a tree of life. We, be, we should be coming more bolder, more confident. So now you need to ask yourself what your hope is. Why is your heart sick? Why are you weak? Why have you fallen and not getting up, man? Call Halal Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shalom.